Yo, my name is Benjamin and I'm excited to introduce RAM to Framer. RAM is a font size unit based on a default size, which in browsers often is 16 pixels. RAM allows me to design a type scale relative to that value. So one RAM would equal 16 pixels and 1.25 RAM would equal 20 pixels. In Framer, you would typically use textile breakpoints for your responsive typography. But these have two downsides. One is these values are pixel based and thus have no relation to one another. And two is the breakpoint values here are not inherently linked to the breakpoints on your canvas. This means if I change the breakpoints, I also need to go ahead and manually update each and every breakpoint in each and every text style. Rem can fix both of these issues. For this demo, I'll go ahead and delete these text breakpoints. Instead, let's first have a look at our layout template. As I mentioned, Rem needs a root or a base value. In browsers and in Framer, this is 16 pixels. You can find this value on any breakpoint and it's especially useful when defining it within a layout template as this ensures it's consistent across all pages of your sites with a single click. You don't have to even adjust this value. If you like the 16 pixel default, you can keep it as is and start using RAM directly. However, customizing it can have benefits. We can even define a base value for each breakpoint of our site, making every single text layer that uses RAM inherently responsive. So I'm using 16, 18 and 20 pixels. Here my heading does not use a textile, so I can go into the size property and set it to RAM directly. And I'll go ahead and set it to 4. And just like that, we have made our heading responsive. The values are always linked to the actual breakpoints. They will work on any given page and we can start designing a type scale without having to worry about breakpoints. So we can start bringing over our paragraphs and our headings to rem and all we have to do is set the size to rem and pick a value. To start, we can set both to one and then have a look at our breakpoints. This looks okay, but maybe our headings can be a bit bigger. So I'll try to use 1.2 instead of one. Nice, that feels a bit better. And again, it's responsive out of the box. Now at any point, we could go back into our layout template and decide we only want two breakpoints for all our text styles. So we can go ahead and set the base value in the phone breakpoint to 18 pixels as well, matching the tablet value. With a base value of 20 pixels for desktop and 18 pixels for tablet and phone. And that's the magic of RAM. It's simpler yet more flexible as well. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more updates coming soon.